Let's get familiar with Windows and the features that it has available for us to start navigating the system. There are two ways to navigate Windows, both through the command line interface or CLI and the graphical user interface or the GUI, which is what we'll use in this lab to explore the Windows operating system. So Windows is really a GUI focused first operating system. We can utilize the start menu by selecting the Windows icon in the bottom left. And from here, we can search and look for applications that we're interested in using. We can also navigate this list and pin items directly to the taskbar. In fact, you could consider that this start menu is something like your central hub or central point of operations. It's inside of this start menu that we'll find pin applications, which we use most frequently recent documents, and even power options to manage our machine. Let's take a look at the taskbar next, just that bottom bar right across the screen. And if we right click the taskbar, we can open up another context menu where we can change the settings of the taskbar itself, or even right click icons that are labeled on the bottom that we might have open, and then pin those directly on the taskbar as well. And if we have too many applications open and we need to get to the desktop, we can right click the taskbar, select show the desktop and get back to it. And then similarly, if we want to return back to our state, we can right click the taskbar and then click show open windows. We can also provide a little bit of customization by going inside the taskbar menu, going to the search menu and mark that as hidden. That cleans it up a little bit. But if we want that back, we can also go back inside of search and then bring it back as an option. Let's take a look at the taskbar settings now. Remember what I said that Windows is very GUI focused first. We have options inside here where we can lock the taskbar, which will lock it right in place, or we can automatically hide it. We can also change the size of the taskbar and use small buttons instead if we would like. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at the file explorer now, that little folder icon on the taskbar. And the file explorer is a very common tool you'll use all the time. The file explorer is what we use to navigate all the files stored on our system. Up next, we have the control panel. And the control panel is where we can change different settings on our Windows operating system. Take a moment now to navigate through the control panel categories and subcategories to get an overview of the system settings. Next, let's take a look at the Windows settings itself. Click on the start button and then click on the settings gear icon to open the window settings. Now this might look a lot like the control panel, but there are subtle differences between the two. Some overlap, but then not overlap in some cases. We'll explore this over time. All right, next let's take a look at the action center. And it kind of looks like a little speech bubble just on the bottom right of the taskbar itself. We can click on it to open it. Once inside, Let's select the All Settings button there in the middle. The Action Center is where we receive notifications and alerts, and some applications can take advantage of this and alert us and notify us of important messages on our machine. Take a moment to review the notifications and quick actions available in the Action Center now. The last area that we'll check out now is the Task View. And the Task View is part of Microsoft's productivity updates. We can find it on the taskbar just between that little edge browser icon and the search bar on the bottom left. But first, let's actually open up an application to demonstrate this. I'm going to select the edge browser now and just keep it open for a moment. And now I'm going to select the task view button. And what this allows us to do is interact with a virtual desktop. We can have multiple desktops to work with. And I can open up an application here like PowerShell and just type some commands over here to demonstrate that, hey, we're inside of a new window. And so it's sort of like having multiple monitors in one. And that's it for this lab as a light intro into the GUI. It's pretty simple, right?